it's been said that by reducing activity in the default mode network, psychedelics restore a sort of child's brain. And this adult brain and child's brain comparison is used often in psychedelic discourse. It's been said that the adult brain can narrowly focus attention on a single goal. And because of this focus, it produces far fewer errors and processes take less time and less energy. This is a good thing. But the adult brain is also less creative, less able to think outside the box, and sometimes too rigid for unique problem solving. The child's brain, in comparison, is said to be more widely diffused. It can take in information from virtually anywhere in the field of awareness. This process does cause more errors. It takes more time and more energy to be taking in so much information. But the child's brain is also more creative in many ways. Several studies have shown that children are far better at some problem-solving tasks when thinking outside the box is required. For example, in a study conducted in 2000, Alison Gopnik and her team gave children a toy box that lights up and plays music when a certain combination of blocks is placed on top of it. When Gopnik's team programmed the box to only play music when two blocks were placed on it, four-year-olds figured this out much faster than adults. The four-year-olds tested out way more far-out hypotheses that increased the chances of finding the right answer. Far-out hypotheses that simply never occurred to most adults. Some psychedelic researchers draw a useful distinction between the spotlight consciousness of adults and the lantern consciousness of children. In his 2018 book, how to Change Your Mind. Michael Pollan writes, quote, baby consciousness is so different from adult consciousness as to constitute a mental country of its own, one from which we are expelled sometime early in adolescence. Is there a way back in? The closest we can come to visit that foreign land as adults may be during the psychedelic journey.